Laura Briggs' husband, Manchester Police Officer Michael Briggs, was murdered on the job back in October of 2006. Tuesday, for the first time, she testified in support of the death penalty. It's not about an eye for an eye or, or revenge. It's about protecting our society from evil people the do evil things. Michael Addison was convicted of killing her husband and is the only person on death row in New Hampshire. While the bill as written would not apply to Addison, former Attorney General and U.S. Senator Kelly Ayotte told the committee that provision would be overturned. There's no doubt in my mind that if the legislature repeals the death penalty that Michael Addison's sentence will be commuted. Among those testifying in favor of repeal was the Episcopal Bishop of New Hampshire, arguing in part that the death penalty is morally repugnant and doesn't reflect who we are as a society. Violence and hatred are not overcome or conquered or transformed by more acts of violence but by the power of mercy. And the superintendent of the Cheshire County Jail telling the Senate Judiciary Committee that the idea that the death penalty deters criminals is a myth. There have been over 200 studies on this particular issue. There's no deterrent effect specifically or generally. It's just not. It doesn't exist. Those who count votes here at the State House say it looks like there are enough to repeal the death penalty. The only question is, will it be by a large enough margin to override the expected veto? Reporting live at the State House in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.